we've been talking about simple linear regression and looking at the estimators for the intercept and slope. And now in this video, we're going to look a little bit more at the slope. So previously, we saw that the expectation of the slope estimator beta hat is just beta. And now we're going to talk about why beta hat is normally distributed and why it has this variance here. So remember, our form for this simple linear regression is yi equal alpha plus beta xi plus epsilon i. So the parameters that we're estimating are alpha, beta, and then sigma squared, where the epsilons are iid normal zero sigma squared. All right, so the equation for beta hat is shown here. And this is what we're trying to show, that beta hat is normally distributed with this means as variance. We've already shown the mean. Um, so first thing we're going to do actually, just a little aside, is we're going to show that the variance of the yi's is sigma squared. So first we just plug in what is yi. yi is alpha plus beta xi plus epsilon i. All right, alpha, beta, those are parameters. So those are just constants. And then our data is also a parameter. Uh, so, all right, it's also a constant. So since we have constant, constant, and then this random variable, we can just know that the variance of constants plus random variable is the same thing as just the variance of the random variable. And we know that the variances of the epsilon i's is sigma squared. So we know that the variance of the y i's is sigma squared. All right, so now we can talk about the variance of beta hat. And we can just plug in what beta hat is equal to. So we have in the numerator some of the y i's times x i minus x bar. And then the denominator is some of the x i minus x bar squared. All right, so remember our data, x, the x's are constants. So we can pull those out of the variance. So first, let's just um, pull the denominator out. And remember, when you pull out um, something from a variance, you have to square it. So we get, in the numerator, variance of the y i's summed up times x i minus x bar, and then the denominator is now the square of the sum of x i minus x bar squared. All right, now next thing we're going to do is pull out the x's again from this sum. Actually, first thing we're going to do, we have the variance of the sum. Because these y i's are independent, because the epsilon i's are independent, we're going to change this from variance of the sum to sum of the variances. All right, so we've done that. Now we have in each one of these things that we're summing up, we have variance of yi times xi minus x bar squared. Let's go ahead and pull the xi minus x bar squared out of that variance. So when we do that, we know again we have to square it. So we have the sum of the variance of the yi's times xi minus x bar squared. Up here, this was not supposed to be squared. All right, so we have this divided by the same denominator as before. All right, um, so now we know that the variance of the yi's is sigma squared, so let's go ahead and plug that in. And since that doesn't have a subscript, it doesn't have an i, we can go ahead and pull that out of the sum. All right, so now we notice we have sigma squared times something in the numerator divided by that same thing in the denominator squared. So we can cancel um, this from the numerator and take out one of these from the denominator. So then we end up with sigma squared over some of the xi minus x bar squared. And so now we're done because that's exactly what we wanted to show. All right, so in other words, we know that 
the variance of the beta hat depends on how variable the epsilons are and how variable these y's are. Um, so we have that variability in there because we see the sigma squared part. And then we're dividing by the sum of the xi minus x bar squared. So like as we're getting more data, then we are going to be dividing by a bigger and bigger amount. And so that will be driving the variance down. So that intuitively makes sense. More data means we should be more sure about what beta hat is. And so that should reduce the variance of beta hat. All right, so then the last thing to talk about is why is beta hat normally distributed? So if we look back at beta hat, we have up here constants, down here constants, and then this yi apart. And we know that these yi's are normally distributed because the epsilons are normally distributed. So if we're summing up a bunch of normally distributed random variables, then we end up with a normally distributed random variable. 